<coughs> all right so i just wanted to stop and uh videotape some of the uh serenity out here i'm way deep out in uh snow hill trail um i'm on i forgot what they called what loop it is but it's the furthest one out which is about maybe six miles out in the woods which is really cool the trains were really rough out here there's one trail that a ways and uh i forgot the name of it but it was like something rough something and it damn sure was it was it was hard i actually fell flat on my ass well on my side and rolled so make sure you know how to fall <laughs> if you come out to these places don't be uh breaking your clavicles and stuff like i did on my uh dirt bike a long time ago going too, way too fast around the corner and all of a sudden there was a uh, brush pile there and I hit it at about 55 so I had no choice I was going for a flight but anyways it's really nice out here spring starting up so uh, you know everything's starting to turn green and whatnot I was thinking about taking a, a maple sapling from out here and bringing it and putting it in my yard because all I have is oak trees and whatnot. I think a, uh, a nice maple tree would look cool. Maybe even a palm tree too. Diversify a little bit. But the water isn't pretty here. It's just kind of murky. But, you know, if you had to, you could survive off of it if you knew the right tricks or had the right equipment. And uh, there's the bridge. I came from out that way. You know, there's just a little streams running through the woods. And I'll just walk you this way. I don't have anti-vibrate on my phone yet, so I'll do my best. I haven't figured it all out. I just got it yesterday, which was a great deal because it they gave me an extra phone and I was able to give it to my 73 uh, year old mom and try to uh, force her to learn some technology and so that she can watch some YouTube videos and you know do Skype with the in-laws or the relatives per se up in uh, you know up north and out of state and all that stuff you know so I think that'd be really nice for her to uh, you know be able to send and receive pictures and, uh, you know, talk conference call style face to face. And so, okay, this is um, the service road. I do believe this is, damn, I forgot the name of it, but it is a Flagler Trail. This is Flagler Trail that runs through it and that kind of separates the uh the trails over there which are about three or four trails that go through the woods and along the side of the little econ river and once you pass this it just comes out and just goes and there's trails all out through here and it goes for like another five miles maybe and, and loops around and then comes back and i think it comes back like that ways and then reconnects up here somewhere but uh that's what i wanted to do today but um aside from busting ass which didn't hurt me at all i hit a root and slammed my damn knee into my gooseneck so next time at the bmx shop it would be buying paddings for my bike frame and gooseneck because I'm too old to be doing stupid crap like that. Like busting myself up. So. Actually it feels all better now. I'm walking down this huge hill and I don't feel it. But. But like I said I had to make new videos. Because I got my. Email changed. I got my phone number changed. I got everything changed. I didn't want any association with anything to do with years in the past of this that and the other thing so you know 
if the people I knew really want to know me, they'll stop by and say, hey, what up? And uh, I'll get the phone number again. Otherwise, you know, whatever. All right. the superstar I repainted my helmet and I actually got it right this time I messed up last time and now look at that sucker it's got the metal fight blaring everywhere with the flip flop paint even the front visor red it's a little bit different but it's got metal flake in it too but uh yeah, the helmet's looking pretty fresh. Damn it, can't see it in the camera. But yeah, pretty dope. I'm digging it. <laughs> 